Welcome in this tutorial. Today I will show you what Light Cosmos Rot is. Light Cosmos Rot is a C sharp remote administration tool. Here you can this is the main website and here you can see some screenshots and uh, here you have the GitHub official page. If you click on this link, you will go to the repository for Light Cosmos Rot. Let Cosmos Rot uh, has uh, a uh, quick uh, reference here and you can download the pre-compiled version or you can download the source code and compile it by yourself. Let Cosmos Rot allows you to uh, control a computer. It helps you generating a client. Here you put the IP and the port and a rat name. And uh, here in the listening panel you can listen for connection for upcoming connections and uh, see the the victim's computer. Now I will show you how to use it. Download the pre-compiled version or the source code and compile by yourself. I already have uh, the program, so I won't do this step. Also on the official website, you can you can uh, check the new section where you can see the latest version of the program so uh, if I go on my desktop you will have a program like this and I will use a Windows 7 machine a virtual machine to test the program open the program and you will see the uh, main panel which has a create client section and a start listening section and a status panel which show you uh, your local IP and uh, uh, some useful information here you have the information about the the creator that's me robtech97 uh, okay since we are going to test this on a local network i i'm going to use this this uh, this ip which is my local ip if you uh, need to use the program on uh, uh, on uh, computers that are on different networks you need to not forward your router but i won't go deeper in this topic in this uh, video because the uh, purpose of the video is to show you how to use this program so uh, go on the create client section and also before I start I'm gonna use uh, one Google Drive between the two machines to share the program I mean the virus you can uh, share the program however you want create client and uh, give it a name for example i'm gonna give youtube and important do not change or modify right name after creation it won't work properly do not add extension to the name so I put youtube i put my local ip which is 192.1.7 and uh, i choose a port you can choose whatever you want for example 7777 and i click on generate client if everything goes okay, is okay, you will see a message box which says "rat generated," and you can find the rat on the main page of the, your uh, uh, or where your program is located. For example, here I have ix uh, program file called YouTube. Now, I send this program to uh, the person to the computer I want to control. I'm going to Google Drive to upload this and uh, I'm going to hope to download it on the on the other machine I'm sorry for the virtual machine it's really slow so I'm going to I'm going to download the program I generated on the target machine I mean, you can send this program however you want, uh, through email, through USB stick, through Facebook, however you want. Uh, an upcoming feature is that you can choose the icon of the program and also you will be able to, uh, to, I mean, to hide the program inside another program so that the payload is uh, hidden. But this will be upcoming features. You can check the GitHub page for news. So uh, I'm waiting for the download to finish. As I said, the virtual machine is really slow, so uh, you will see some lag.
So I choose to keep the file and uh, now let's open it. Okay, I'm going to put this on the desktop to show you some features. Sorry for the virtual machine lag. So, okay, I'm going to drag this on the desktop. When the first time you open the program, Okay, you will see nothing on the display and you may think nothing happened, but if you try to delete this, you can't because the program is running on back in background and even if the victims try to uh, try to restart the system, this program is now copied into the uh, into the main folder so uh, so uh, every time the Windows system starts up, you will able to see the desktop of this computer and I'm going to show you how. Go to your starting start section and put the port with 7777 and click bind. And in a minute we should have the, the desktop. So here you see, I see the desktop of the victims and even if this computer is uh, restarted, uh, the program will start up at Windows Startup so uh, the computer is infected forever. So you see the lights on the icon status is changing, so the yeah, area yeah, is not very responsive since the virtual machine is lagging because it's really really slow. So I'm gonna close this and uh, I hope to do better video of this program right now. I'm, I've am i made this program by myself and so it's uh, in an early stage. You can check, uh, as I said, the GitHub page to uh, understand better how it works, yeah, it's explained better how to use uh, the glisten section, the create client section, and you can see the source code to understand deeper what this program does. So upcoming features are the icon customization and also the possibility to hide the payload into another program. But for this video I think it's I think that's all. Thanks for watching, subscribe and if you have any questions Please leave a comment, and I'm gonna. I'm also gonna leave the link to the official website and to the GitHub page of the project. Uh, goodbye.